Hey, social fam, NLK3. Welcome to the video of the day. New videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday on very specific topics to entertain, educate, and support. And today's subject matter, I want to do something about sweating the small things, okay? Um, how many people can relate that sometimes it's easy to sweat the small things, especially when you're in the heat of the moment, you got a lot of stuff going on, and you're not really collecting your thoughts like you would if you were just, like, say, for instance, maybe waking up calmly, you had a nice rest, and you weren't stressed out, you weren't thinking about anything. Hopefully, when you wake up, you feel that way, you're not all stressed out, and you just have a calm, collected conscious, right? So you don't really sweat the small stuff, but when stuff starts getting crazy, and you have a million things going on, you're running behind on schedule, and all the things are happening, then what happens? You start sweating the small stuff, right? Say, for instance, oh my God, you know, I have to take care of cleaning something. I don't want to have to take care of cleaning. Or, oh my God, I need to get gas and I'm already late. And then it starts to pile up on top of the fact that you have other things going on in your life. But the thing is, is if you can be able to control your temper and control the way that you mentally handle things, right? And you just take two steps back and digest and just try to... Namaste, right? Relax for a second. Your heart rate goes down. Your blood pressure goes down. You can reevaluate what's going on and rethink about what's going on and how you're going to handle the situation instead of blowing up and getting into a frenzy or a frenzy about something that is going to take it to another level. Uh, the motivation behind this was my wife, Melissa. Her and I got into it uh, this morning. Not really got into it, but basically had a little altercation where something came up don't need to talk about specifics and that thing came up where it was a trigger for Melissa and the way that the situation was handled in my mind I believe should have been handled a little bit differently now I want to be you know truthful and honest and I want to be as middle ground as possible and I don't like he said she said I don't like arguments and I'm not gonna go on to say for instance video and talk negatively towards my wife honey I love you um, what I'm going to say is is that when things happen in our life and reality sinks in You know, we just have to take a mental note about what what happened? How do we handle it? How can we handle it differently and just be mindful of the way that we're thinking? Um, and the way that we're handling things and the way that we're treating other people around us Especially when it's like, okay, yeah, maybe this person is connected to this situation But if you look at everything as a whole and what's going on on a bigger level, you know, it's like, okay, his car just got hit. This just happened. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, maybe, you know, things are going to be a little bit different right now. But when you're only in your own mind, you're only thinking about your own thing, and you're not really calm and collected with your thought process, that's when it's easy to make it all about yourself and then make your problem someone else's problems and then it turns into a bigger escalation. So, something to take into consideration. I hope you found value from this video. If you want to share it with someone that you think that can benefit from this video, I think we all can because I think we all sometimes get hot-headed and heavy in circumstances and situations. New videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This week's YouTube episode is live. I appreciate your continued support. Please subscribe, like the video, comment below. It would help get the video out to more people and help our algorithms and until the next one take care and I appreciate you and you got this